many people do exceptionally well when it comes to writing english if you read their essays if you read their chats you read their emails they are just amazing so beautifully written and i've i've myself come across such people who are this amazing that you'd read their chats or you'd read their emails you'd be like वाह क्या लेवल है बंदे का यू यू इमेजिएटली लाइक सेट अ बेंच मार्क फॉर दिस गाय और दिस गर्ल लाइक ओके शी इज रियली गुड इन इंग्लिश बट बट वन इट कम्स टू स्पीकिंग इन इंग्लिश दे फॉल शॉर्ट सो वैन इट कम्स टू राइटिंग दे आर आर्टिकुलेटिव दे आर विटी दे आर इमोशनल दे आर सो फोकस्ड एंड दे कैन ब्रिंग आउट दे थाट्स इन द मोस्ट अमेजिंग मैनर यूड बी लाइक वाओ आई विश आई कुड राइट लाइक दैम but when it comes to speaking in english the same people are unable to do it they find it difficult to speak as beautifully as they can write and this is a common problem if you're one of these uh congratulations you could at least write well like i'd like you to look at it this way because it's a big deal not everybody has that talent when you're writing in english your mind gets a lot of time to think okay you can think and you can easily pen it down you can write it down on the paper okay or you can type but when you are speaking you do not get time you do not get as much time as you get when you are writing english and that brings out all the difference so writing is quite different from speaking while you are writing you can erase you can like use backspace you can delete and rephrase rewrite whatever you've written and your final product can be quite different from what you earlier would have been phrasing it as or whatever you were writing so it can actually vary from that because you've gotten a lot of time to do that time makes all the difference yeah you getting my point but you can't think and speak I feel that I am um, I'm a much better writer than a speaker. Yeah, I do feel that about myself. If you will read my journals which you're never going to. Yes. If you do read my journals, you'll find out that I probably write much better than I speak. It's obviously because I'm being able to come up with better choice of words. If you're already good in writing, that makes a lot of difference because you are already holding a good command over vocabulary over grammar and this is what you need to construct sentences in english when you're speaking in english if you write well there are two things first you think well hmm really so if you can think well you can write well kitni badi baat bol di maine you don't need to agree with me on this it's this is just, just my thought yeah but i feel that if you can write well you really can think well and second you have good command over grammar and vocabulary which helps you so it's as simple as that now what can we do about this like how can we bridge the gap between these two things like if i am here in writing and here in speaking how can i bridge the gap let's start with the tips that i have for you first tip is acknowledge that these two activities are different from each other do not assess yourself your speaking abilities on the basis of your writing abilities so by acknowledging that these two are different activities your the pressure that you're putting on yourself the stress that you're putting on yourself ki yaar main likh to leti hu main bol kyun nahi pati hu yaar main kya karu iske bare mein so this is just acknowledging these two are different is going to actually relieve you of the stress relieve you of the pressure and when something is done purely out of love for something purely out of enjoyment for something uh i feel you grow at a much faster pace whereas if you do the same thing out of pressure out of stress i think it takes away a lot of the fun that you can otherwise experience it takes away the fun and i feel it um slows your growth so it's better that you acknowledge the gap and you let these two things rest in their respective places and do not put a lot of pressure on yourself on your head second increase the volume of practice speak more and more and more in english proactively by proactively i mean you have to create situations and create circumstances where you get to speak in english start a youtube channel 
start making videos in English. That's a great idea. So you are proactively creating a circumstance for yourself where you have to speak in English because your channel is about, I mean, your ch channel is in English language, not about English language. It could be about anything, but you should be probably speaking in English in all those videos because that's one way of proactively practicing your language. Yeah. And this is just one example. There could be many others. You could be taking a lead in the meetings of your office. You could uh, be um, just go up to people in your office and start speaking with them. Or whenever you call a friend of yours, just proactively try and speak to them in English. These are a few things, a few genuine measures that you can take towards learning the language because practice is the only key. There is no other way of learning the language. As much as you can practice, as much as you can devote time to it, the better you're going to get at it, the better you're going to be, your growth, your pace is going to be at growth. And lastly, whenever a situation arises where you are needed to speak in English, buckle up here, yeah. just pull your socks up and don't run away from the situation. Do not find an exit door and rush through it. No, don't do that. Use the situation, use the opportunity. Just put your mind at ease. Even if I make a mistake, it's all right. Everybody makes mistakes. It's okay. Let me use this opportunity. Because one time when you face your hesitation, when you face your fear, okay, that one time, with every single time, your standard is going to go up. Because your fear, your stress is going to be replaced by confidence. Yeah, I really mean it. Like I can recall an incident where... I was interviewing with Sandeep Maheshwari sir. I'm sure you must have seen that video. And I'm sorry if you saw those shots because I know how much they, <laughs> they were going around. And people must be like pulling their hair. Yeah, bas karo, kitna I know, I know. <laughs> but yeah, okay, coming back to my point. So when I was interviewing with uh, Sandeep Maheshwari sir, I remember sir proposed that... Uh, Anybody who asks a question to Alina Reis is going to ask in English and Madam is going to reply in Hindi or whatever language she is comfortable with. So I replied in Hindi, but all the questions that were asked to me were all posed in English to me. Okay. And I could see on most of these people's faces that they were not comfortable with the language. They were stammering or they were um, hesitating or they were... But that's not important. What really impressed me and I complimented most of them on was that they anyway showed courage. They raised up their hand and they spoke in a room of 100 people and they stood up and they owned the moment. They owned it completely. That these next two minutes are going to be about me. I'm going to give my best shot. And they did that. They spoke. They stood up. They knew that a lot of people are going to see this video, probably millions. And yes, 5 million people have already watched that video. And 5 million is just on his one single channel's video. There are like hundreds of shots which have crores and crores of views. Then that, that same video was uploaded on my channel, which has more than a million views. So yes, there were millions and millions of views, maybe 10 or 12 or 15 million people who watched that video. And you're raising your hand and you're standing up and asking a question in a language you're not very comfortable in. That tells a lot about you. It just tells you what kind of a person you are. Next time when the situation arises and you have to like raise your finger, ma'am, I have to say something, or sir, I have to say something, it's going to get so much easier for you because you will remember the last time. It's going to get easier for you. It's just how it is. This is how our minds work. So let's embrace it. Let's enjoy the process. Let's not get scared of it. Okay, that's my only message to you in the end of the video. Whatever you set your mind to, you can achieve with a little bit of effort. Okay, so no matter what amount of effort you have to put into, enjoy it and you will not feel the effort. You will not feel the stress of it or the pain of it. It's, it's just going to be enjoyment for you. And that's what matters. Yeah, you're learning something, you're enjoying the learning and you are becoming better. 
and of course once you learn the language this language there's there are a lot of doors that are going to open up for you so that's all about in the video today thank you very much i spoke so much this was supposed to be a short video <laughs> that's what i always do anyway thank you very much i'll be back with more of this content i have a small homework for you would you do something for me please okay so my homework for you is you have to tell me two okay two books that you have read recently or or two books that you're planning to read now don't tell me ma'am i'm not planning to read anything i haven't read anything don't say that make up your mind start reading yeah? how many times do i have to tell you it's like the best way one of the best ways to improve your english so go ahead get started i'll be back soon